Uh, what inspired you to start playing drums? Uh, I started out actually in high school, the drum and bugle chords and the marching band and stuff like that. And then every now and then I'd get to play club somewhere, which I was too young to be in them. But they let me in sometimes. So I learned how to play there. Then I learned how to play in all the clubs I used to work. Learned a little bit from this guy, a little bit from that guy. Just kind of, uh, you steal what you do from each one of those guys. And you put, then you put it all together and it works out pretty good. Who do you think was your biggest inspiration when coming up? Well, back then it would have been Buddy Rich and Gene Cooper. That was back in the 40s, mm -hmm. early 50s. When did you hear them talking about Harry? Oh, when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah, they were, they were really good. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what are some of your favorite memories of listening to them? Well, I, they're, they're big band, band drummers. Mm -hmm. And I liked big band back then. You know, I used to love to watch them play and listen to them. What, what about that style is what attracted you? I don't know, it's just a swinging style, it just worked, worked for me. Yeah. And a lot, not a lot of guys, it worked for a lot of people. Well, what inspired your drumming when you were playing for Elvis? I don't know. I just started playing like I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have any, I didn't have any certain style, I just started playing whatever felt good, that's what I played. So do you take do you take pride in the fact that you know Elvis was known for his dance moves and a lot of the drums is responsible for the rhythm? Do you take pride in knowing that you helped him become iconic? Well, yeah, but, uh, he 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 he'd have been a star regardless mm -hmm. of who played. So he could have been dancing if he was singing acapella. Yeah, okay. yeah. it'll work for him. Mm -hmm. Well, you're an accomplished drummer, you know, outside of those too. I, I watched the video the other day of you playing with Paul McCartney. Yeah. Can you yeah. just talk about some of your other experiences playing for big names? Well, I've done some stuff with Paul, I've done some stuff with Ron Wood with the Stones, and just different guys, and a bunch of guys in England. We met Scott went over there a few years ago, and a bunch of little guys from England, which I never heard of before, yeah. but they were very popular guys, you know. Tell me about the experience of playing with Paul McCartney. It was fun. Paul was easy to get along with, yeah. and uh, he said, the guys want to ready to go, he'd say, yeah, we, we did that sorry mama mm -hmm. I said, yeah, let's do it. And we turned and kicked it off. No, that ain't what I want. And we start just three times he started, you know. So he was happy with the intro, but that's what it was. Yeah. And it worked out yeah. about the third time. He said, That's good guys, let's go home. Well, did you hang out with him anymore with No, he, he he had he 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 was married to one of those ladies I hear that kind of was. Well she wasn't there, she was back in England, I guess how much she was. Yeah. But tell me about playing with Ron Wood for this house. Oh, he was a nice man. Yeah. He really was. We used, to, we used to go to his house and he'd eat with him. Mm -hmm. He was just a nice guy. Him and the, uh, the guitar player. Uh, Keith Richards. Not Keith. Uh, uh, George. Yes. We had dinner with George and his wife and this guy didn't want one evening. Mm -hmm. That's great. So they were all nice guys. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't too much of a party animal like they're. No. No, this is, no, they were all pretty nice. Settle down. And, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the 68 comeback special. Can you tell me a little bit about the prep work that went into that for you? Well, it wasn't nothing. We didn't do anything. You just went in there? We just went in there and started cutting. And, uh, well, it was, they were having trouble with, with the sound. And we were stomping our feet, you know, trying to keep them. And I said, no, you can't do that. All the, the mics are picking up everything. So it was, you know, real easy. And so, but it worked out fine. Uh, Do you remember any like backstage stories of Elvis being nervous? Or oh, he was nervous. We all were. Mm -hmm. That's the first time he had been out in front of the audience in eight or ten years, and, and we hadn't been out working none at all. Mm -hmm. So we just had to, everybody had to wing it uh, and do the best we could. How do you think it turned out? I thought it was great. <laughs> I did. Well, great. Well, uh, what about? What about being in the live audience? Because it had been a while since Elvis had played live. What was that like? Well, that was the whole secret. He hadn't been in front of the live audience in years. And he was really scared to get out there. Mm -hmm. and, well, you think they'd like me? I said, sure they would. Just go out there and do what you've been doing for years. I said, you'll see. And boy, they, the house come down. Mm -hmm. Did, were there any kind of like little, you know, little mistake or something like that? that oh, it wouldn't have made a difference. It could have been. <laughs> we just kept going. There you know, weren't no mistakes about it. So it was a good time. Yeah, just have a good time, and if you make a mistake, keep going. <laughs> well, um, tell me, do you have any good stories about just kind of cutting up with Elvis? I'd love to hear a story about that. 
But he didn't care about him much. He, he was always pretty well business. Mm -hmm. Except uh, in a car, I threw his shoes out once. Mm -hmm. Just little stuff like that, not enough to really attract any attention. So he was a pretty business minded Oh, yeah. He, he strictly, mm -hmm. do, he wanted to do what he wanted to do, and that's the way it was. So there was, I mean, you would consider him a friend, though, during all that. Oh, yeah. So tell me a little bit about how his business might have worked. I mean, what was, you know, so it was, you know, no cutting up, we're not going to do this, we got to get to the show. Oh, he never told us that he couldn't do it. Yeah. But we just didn't do it. <laughs> well, well, I make it all the waves for, for no reason. 